Hello everybody and welcome back to week 304 of the world's finest comic book review series and now I will be talking about Deathstroke issue number 9. This was a very quick read for me. Lots of internal dialogue in this book from Deathstroke. Very nice artwork. Love the artwork in this book. Cannot stress enough how awesome Tony S. Daniel draws here. Really nice to see Superman actually does show up in this book. This book was straightforward. Deathstroke versus, um, however you pronounce this guy's name, I kind of left, left whatever his name is. And then Superman shows up and ends up fighting with uh, Deathstroke, thinking it's Deathstroke's fault uh, for what's going on on Themyscira. Um, awesome artwork, like I said. You get that fight between Deathstroke and Superman. And then Wonder Woman comes in and says Deathstroke is on their side. He's helping fight Lapterius or whatever you want to call him, whatever his name is. And it turns out that in the background, uh, Lap Laptius, yeah, let's go with that. It turns out in the background that he actually has a new weapon. And finally, this will be concluding in the next issue. I feel like this has been going on for a while. We got the annual, which kind of took you out of the fight for a bit and then put you back into it. This book was strictly all fighting and lots of internal dialogue uh, from Deathstroke and them fighting against Lap. Talius, Talus, however you want to pronounce this guy's name. I am not good with the whole god mythology whatnot. This is a nice book. Awesome artwork. If you are a fan of Deathstroke, I would definitely recommend it. If you are, if you haven't been reading this series, I would definitely say give it a check out. It's really good. I, I didn't, I came into this series remembering when the New 52 started, um, that Deathstroke series, which I did not like at all. This series is a lot better. It definitely is more... Um, I like Deathstroke younger also because they made him very young. Starting with the... I believe it happened in the end of the first issue. So it's something different and something really cool. So I would definitely recommend checking it out. Yeah, I just want to make sure I got everything here. Definitely give it a look into... Uh, really nice seeing Batman, uh, Wonder Woman and Superman drawn by Tony S. Daniel again. With that, that's it for this review, guys. Feel free to click any of the links below to any of the websites I work on, all the stuff that's connected to this channel, and um, other sites that you can find um, me on from this channel. Lots of stuff going on uh, each and every day, each and every week, each and every day, night, in between. Look forward to a lot more. And stay tuned. we got a lot more books coming your guys' way at the mere click of a button, actually, because the next episode should be up, or the next review should be up right after this. So see you guys there.